Hi guys, today we'll be learning how to force your crush to win at you in DaVinci Resolve. This is in the free version, so even if you are completely new here, please feel free to follow along. This lady is an image that I got from texas.com to clickbait you guys, and I will drag it to my timeline. This timeline is 30 frames per second, and I want the effect to last half a second. So 30 divided 2 is 15. I will double click this, and type 15, and press enter. Now my playhead is at a 15th frame. I will select the clip, Ctrl B to break it, and with my playhead over the small clip, I will head over to the fusion page. Then with media in one selected, Ctrl space, I will search for a grid warp, this, and enter. Then I will change my show from destination to source, and of course, you can adjust the X grid size and the Y grid size to adjust how many boxes there are on the grid but I shall keep it as default which is 8 and I will adjust the size and I am zooming in by holding Ctrl and mouse scroll wheel like this and panning by holding mouse scroll wheel and dragging then I will reposition this by adjusting the center X and Y and place it on the eye, like this. We want it to be sufficiently big to cover the entire eye. Something like this is good. Then I will change the show back to destination and click on the bottom button at the bottom, copy source to destination. Now our background is checkered. We'll fix that by going to render, deselect the black background and go back to controls. Then, I will change the manic type from region to selected and if I move any point on this grid, it will warp and distort the image. So the image is warped and this will basically be how we will be closing the eye for the winking effect. Let me undo that, Control Z. And we want to animate this, so at the start of the clip, we want the eye to be fully open, so I will go to the start and set a keyframe here, beside right click here for mesh animation. I will go to the end of the clip by clicking here, and doing the same, set a keyframe. And in the middle, maybe frame 6, is where we want the eye to be close. So we'll use a warping effect. And if you notice, if I click on any point, there will be 4 yellow lines that emerges from the 4 sides of the point that are selected. I can adjust the curvature, by adjusting the direction and the length of these yellow lines. How I would like to approach this is by using a bottom-up approach. So I will work on the bottom layers and move my way up. So let me show you an example. I will select this layer, now it's all yellow, and I will hold down shift and drag this up. Holding down shift while dragging will ensure that it will only move one direction, so it will just go vertically and not horizontally, so it won't move sideways. Now I will go to the top layer and drag this up also. So basically we want to keep doing this until the eye is completely shut. And let's say you are halfway done, and you don't want to view it with this grid, you can select middle out one, and the grid disappears, so you can see how it really looks like. And of course, it's not done yet. I will click on grid warp to further adjust it. Alright, now the eye is completely closed and it's looking pretty decent. Let me play it back. Currently, the eye is only closed on frame 6, so it's just one frame. If we want the eye to be closed for a longer period of time, we can do that by selecting Grid Warp, click on Spline, ensure that this checkbox beside Grid Warp is selected, and we will highlight this point. So this is the keyframe that we set when the eye is closed. Ctrl C to copy 
and let's say we want the eye to be close from frame 6 to frame 8. You go to frame 8 here and click anywhere here. Control V to paste. So now the eye will be close from frame 6 to frame 8. And let me play it back. To make the effect even better, we will go back to the edit page and drag this up to our original clip. We will add a fade in and fade out. So we can do that by dragging this corner on the top left and dragging the corner on the top right. So this will add a bit of like a smooth cut transition. So let me play it back. And I will duplicate this by holding down Alt and dragging this. And let's give it a while for it to render. Now I will play it back in full screen. <laughs> Okay, so thanks for watching. I hope you guys leave a like and subscribe to this channel and see you guys again next time.